And by the way, what Jim was talking about a little earlier, you know, he's in Ohio, so he works a little different. Our time is in June and July for working on papers. We'll get into that shortly. And also, the big time for us is the primary, which is in September. And that's what we have to really be working towards, getting out the votes and getting the people, not just the Republicans to vote in the primary, but priming the Democrats to vote in the election for Republicans or Democrats. We'll find some good, we're vetting out a Democrat up in Columbia County in the next week or so. And we'll try to support that person also. So we'll tell the Democrats, we don't care, or we'll tell the Republicans, we don't care what their label is. We just want someone who believes in the Constitution and will enforce the law of our country and bring the Republic back. You must be a resident of the county. You must collect signatures starting on June 8th equal to 5% of the enrolled voters of your, your political party in that district. You need to file your petition before 4 p.m. on July 15th, 2010. Uh, and this is critical. You, you can only file a petition between July 12th and, 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 and July 15th. If you file it before, I don't think they'll accept it. If they do, they'll throw it away. Uh, but it's got to be between the 12th and the 15th. They put all these hurdles here. You cannot collect one signature before June 8th. If you do, it's invalid. They throw it away. Uh, and obviously, after June 15th at 4 p.m., that's it. If you haven't gotten it in, you're not in. Now, if you for somehow get held up and you can't get there and you're running in on, we're, we're teaching everyone to go on July 15th at noon time or one o'clock and, and put the, the entire state into cardiac arrest by all these people mobbing uh, the county buildings to attend in their petitions. Uh, but, you know, if you've got to do it before, then fine. If you're going away, someone else that's doing the same thing with you, they can drop it off for you. Uh, or you can mail it. You better certify the mail, return signature. If you get a flat tire in the way, your car breaks down, or something happens, you just can't make it in time, find the nearest post office and, and send it certified mail. As long as it's uh, stamped for that date, they'll let it in. If you are challenged, your name will be on the ballot at the primary election on September 14th. Uh, now, each, each election district, uh, and that's what we're running for, we're running in our election district. Each election district has two seats. We're looking to at least fill one of them, but if we want with our spouses or with our children or with our parents, uh, or even with our friends or neighbors, you could go on the same petition and you could try to take both seats. Uh, now, if uh, you have to be a little careful about that, though, because, uh, like in my case, my spouse, my wife, doesn't really want to go to the meetings, and of course we can take the proxy. Uh, but if we were to run and the other person was to win that that election, uh, then one of us two would be chosen, and I don't, nobody knows what the process is. And if they were to choose my wife, my wife really doesn't want to go to the meetings. And, you know, I would want to be the one to go on to that. So we have to be a little careful how we do run. But we do want to try to take both seats if we can. If you run with your spouse, let, let's both run on different, t different tickets, that's all. Uh, or, but if you put it together, you are put first on the list. If people do have a habit going to the Republican, just hit the first list. Or the Democrat, they hit the first one on the list. And then you move down, down the rows. Um, what is our plan? We've taken the state of New York and we've divided it up into four parts. We have Western New York, Central New York, Northern New York, and Southern New York. And, and uh, right now, like I said, primary challenge started out in Western New York. And we've got pretty good control of Western New York. We've got a most of the counties there on board and we're still working through that. We'll continue this into the next year. Uh, Central New York, we've been working there for quite some time too. Uh, Northern New York is probably our only weakest point at this point. Most of Albany and the county and the, sur and the county surrounding Albany, we pretty well have a lot of people involved with primary challenges in that area, and we're, we're looking to take that area over also. Uh, the further most ca counties like Franklin and St. Lawrence and uh, Hamilton, well, Hamilton, we have people in Hamilton, Warren, Essex, uh, those counties uh, we haven't really gotten into yet. We will be getting up there, uh, but they are. Uh, places that the population is pretty low, uh, so they don't really have a lot of uh, people, so there's not really that much clout that, it, that carries it, we didn't carry that. Uh, the, mo the areas that are most, impo most important to us is down here, Rockland, Westchester, running down into the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, Long Island, and we're working very diligently down here right now, telling the story and bringing people in by the droves. 
So we intend on taking over New York in the sense of we, meaning we the people, taking over New York and bring it back into the process. Um, to give an example, it's not as daunting as we may think. And first of all, I just want to make another note. Jim said that about uh, two-thirds of the seats are taken uh, in most cases. A lot of people have said that, but we have discovered in our process of doing this that two-thirds of the seats appear to be taken because a lot of people have been appointed to positions and they do not have any power. They don't have a vote. You cannot get a vote according to New York State law unless you are elected in a primary, which means you get your signatures and then you get put on a ballot if nobody runs against you, you're in. In most cases, nobody is running against you. We have found, for instance, down up down and for me down, we down in Poughkeepsie, New York, which is up for you. Poughkeepsie, New York has 76 seats. Only six men have been have been elected to the position of a, of a vote. The other 70 seats is a facade. It's 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 appearance. And when you call up to get to have a seat, they say all our seats are filled. Yeah, because they fill them with people who are appointed, who have no power. They're out. When you run. They're out. There is no seats available for the appointment because, again, it's just a facade. Uh, this is all created in the party rules and bylaws, which we hopefully will get rid of a lot of those smoke and mirrors when we get control, change those rules, change those bylaws, and, and stop being dishonest because that's what they, they are. They're dishonest. They will do everything they can to prevent you from running. They will try to throw your paperwork out. Uh, they will, if you go in there and you don't get uh, a record of the fact that you brought your paperwork in, there's a good chance a lot of these papers are going right into the garbage bag. So you have to, we're teaching people when you get your petition and you bring it in and they stamp that position, they time stamp it, well you, you make sure you have an, an exact duplicate and you say time stamp this one too. And then you have proof, we'll take questions towards the end, then you'll have proof that you have, have dropped it off because you've got a timestamp on it. Um, here in, uh, we're in Rockland County, right? Let's see. Rockland County takes 271 seats, 271 election uh, districts in Rockland County. We need 271 times four ultimately. Our first goal is 271 if this is mostly strongly Republican and I it probably is, right? No. Do we have any Democrats here? No. Do so we have a mixed bag? Yeah. Well, that's great then. Okay, so then we want to go for both parties. We do have both party lists. Um, we want to go for both parties. The key thing is there's 271 seats in each party. If only one person gets into that seat, then their constituents are, is their, their number uh, for their vote is equal to their constituents. If there's 300 constituents in your district, then your vote counts as 300 people voting. 